Hey, a pleasant good evening everybody, or a good morning as it is after midnight. Now this is going to be a quick video reacting to the emotional whirlwind of a win for the Lehigh Valley Phantom 6-5 over those Binghamton Devils that they were able to prevail and get a win after being up 5 nothing, and then having them come back and then prevail to get the win anyway, so let's talk about that. This game started with a remarkable goal, only 10 seconds in, the cameraman couldn't even catch up to it, Pascal LeBurge was able to put it in, then he's able to pot the assist as Bunny's able to score in the slot, and then Cameron York is able to slam home a goal of his own that was assisted by Cal O'Reilly and Chris Begris, as O'Reilly will get to soon, an historic night for him, that was his first assist by of the night, then unfortunately crashing the net on a nice pass by Graham Clark, St. Denise was able to score, that would be his first, but then Begris was able to score on a shot that Sen would definitely want back while he was still in the game, and he let in on a really a high slot wrister, that should have been saved, and then Linus Sandin was able to get his first of the game, on the second assist of the evening for Cal Riley, and also an assist for Cam York. So York, as a young buck, gets an assist and a goal. That's great to see from the kid in only his first handful of games. Well, only really his second game here, so it's great to see from the kid to be able to step up and have that good of a performance and really play that well to get the assist on the Sandine goal. Plus, O'Reilly got the assist. Then in the second, that was more... Binghamton, the Phantoms played solid but not great in the second. They let them get some chances. They played bad in minutes, and in those minutes, uh, Ben Thompson took advantage, got a goal, and then Fabian Zetterloon from a bad angle, that's one that Mack would want back, was able to get a goal, as well as I would say the Riley Walsh goal, which would be the fifth and game tying goal. St. Denise scored the second to make it 5-4 in the start of the third would be a goal that Mack would also went back. The Walsh goal, I would say, would definitely went back, and the Zetterlund goal. But there was some bad goals on both sides. I think McIntyre really stayed in the game and kept his composure, where said they uh, ended up move, removing him, and they ended up putting in someone with the best uh, name when it comes to uh, an a or AHL goaltenders is Marek's Middens for Binghampton. Middens is obviously a good name for a goaltender. Middens, it's a slang for a great save with the Middens or a great save with the gloves. So he was able to come in and actually stabilize things, but he was getting the loss. Obviously a tough loss for the Devil's Netminder there when he only comes in and allows one goal, which was the big goal of the day. We saved the best for last. Linus Sandin capitalized with his second, so some big games from guys, a goal and an assist from Pascal LeBert, he would be one of the stars, I would say he's the third star, then we of course had two goals by Linus Sandin, I would say he's the second star, and then the first star is Mr. 500 himself, congratulations to Cal O'Reilly, he got to 500 assists, Gonna have to be more quiet here since people were sleeping, but he got to 500 assists. Only, I believe, it's 16 other people in league history have done that, and he's able to get to 500 assists. Ryan O'Reilly's brother shouting him out to the St. Louis media. That was awesome. On the goal by Linus Sandin, also assisted by Logan Day. It's phenomenal to have that many assists in your ground coverage in the AHL, NHL, ECHL, over in any foreign league. If you have that many assists in your career, that's a phenomenal accomplishment to accomplish, especially doing it with many different teams and being that great leader, especially lately in his career, in the last um, veteran years of his career. For for all the youngsters, Gordon credits him for that. So congratulations for Cal Riley. That's the big kahuna with this game. He's the first star getting his 500th assist. He got his first assist, of course, <clears throat> um, on the goal by Cameron York. His first, which is great to see. And then York was able to get an assist with Cal O'Reilly on the first goal by Sandine, and then on the winning goal by Sandine, Cal O'Reilly hits 500. This was an emotional whirlwind of the game. The Phantoms are up 5 nothing. then it becomes 5-5, five, five. and then Cal O'Reilly, it almost was a storybook ending, hits 500 on the game-winning goal. This has been a Lehigh Valley fan versus Binghampton Devils recap. The Phantoms win 6-5, to five. big win for them. Big game for Cal O'Reilly, congratulations for him, and big game for Cam York and Pascal LeBert, each having a goal and an assist. So everyone have a great, safe, and pleasant day, and of course, Linus Sandin, who definitely seems like he's just a very keep-it-simple player that could play in the NHL right now, not going to flash you with the point. But everyone have a great, safe, and pleasant day. I hope you enjoyed this recap. Stay safe out there, and as always, enjoy the hockey. Peace out.